Hey everybody, welcome to the big snowstorm event 2020. I'm out here, I got my trains running early this morning and uh, there's a lot of people out there who kind of get interested in uh, garden trains when it snows. So I'm gonna give you guys a little heads up and tutorial about what we do here when we try to run trains in the snow. Usually it doesn't work out too well, but it's fun for a while. So here we go. So the first thing I do before it starts snowing, it already did start, was uh, I get the track running, I get something moving to make sure I don't have any dirty spots, I don't have any problems with leaves or twigs or anything like that. So I had a Steins out here running for about two hours and um, it, I gave it a break. It's not going to be heavy enough to push the plow and clear snow as the afternoon goes on. Now what I've got out here is my snow plow train and I've waxed down the uh, plow this morning. I've got my biggest engine out. Um, and I've got a light up car so we can keep track of this thing in the snow. I've got a track cleaner that's gonna hopefully clean off any ice that builds up. And I've got a caboose at the back. So now I've got my train out and running, and my snow plow train out, and I'm just gonna let it run. Um, should be good to go for just Nice easy loops, um, depending on how fast the snow comes down, then I'll have to make adjustments maybe. Um, but while before we have any snow on the line, I'm just checking everything to make sure that it works. One of the key things is to make sure that your switches are all aligned and watch the flangeways and make sure that they don't get any rocks or twigs in them. And I've just made the first pass with the snow plow train. Everything was looking pretty good. So I'm gonna go back inside uh, that's where I run the train from, it's inside, another key. Uh, and uh, let's let this guy go through the wild see how it looks every day. I'm um, going to come out and check it every, every half hour or so when we're running. Um, when the snow gets really heavy, we'll just make sure that we clean out the switches with a broom. Um, I don't have a flanger, which is a thing that pushes the snow further off the rail. But this works pretty good, and most of this track is high up, so the snow is going to fall down and away. Uh, we have to keep track of uh, how heavy the snow is because it can build up under the plow, can break the detailed parts on the engines, um, just need to keep an eye on it. So that's the main thing with running in the snow is uh, keep track of your train, make sure that you're not letting it just run and run and run without looking after it because you're definitely going to have a problem. Well, it's been snowing for, the train's been running for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes and the snow is starting to really pick up. Um, one of the things that, that I learned a long time ago you know, before you try to plow, plow in the snow is uh, you gotta get your engines and everything, you gotta make sure everything is cold. You don't wanna run anything uh, that you just brought up and put on the track from your basement or your garage where it's nice and warm because they will cause the ice, it will cause ice to build up on your track. So even if you're running battery power, that's not gonna help you. Um, you're going to get ice in your switches, you'll get ice in your flangeways, and you'll have lots and lots of derailments um, unless you don't have a, uh, any turnouts, um, which is probably the best way to run in the snow is without turnouts. But you can see that the snow is starting to stick to the uh, locomotive. Um, it's not really plowing anything, so that's just snow that's hit the, uh, hit the plow blade and stuck to it. You can see where my engine is still warm. The snow is melted, but that could be from the uh, electronics that are inside there. Everybody else looks like it's still going pretty good. The track is staying nice and clean and fresh. We'll check back here in a little while. Well, it's been about an hour and uh, it's been pretty, pretty quiet out here. Um, I just happened to look out the window and of course we've got a, a derailed locomotive. Looks like a little piece of wood in the track did it. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got some ice built up here. This is always a problem. Let me see if we can clear that off. Let's see if that'll clear off for us. Alright, let's get that piece of wood out of there. Snow built up around the wheels. 
got traction tires, almost worn out. Good thing we have spares. This engine might need to see some maintenance tonight. Let's see if it'll get going again on its own here. Yeah, looks like it's gonna go. And our Mallet is still running with its snowplow train. It's coming up here. It's looking good. We should check the switches and see how they're looking. Pretty snowy. We might get the broom and just brush out the points. That's always uh, always becomes a point that we need to do. Uh, that becomes the troublesome spot for these these trains is the points. We've been out here for a couple hours and I uh, just had the uh, looked out the window, noticed that we were stopped, and I noticed also that we're slipping a little, so I'm going to give a little more speed just to try to get us through. Um, I have one of the drivers, one of my drivers is a little loose on the wheel, and so I have to keep an eye on it um, when, we're, when we're running and it's a little slipping like it is right now. Uh, but you can see it's I like how the snow is coming right off the plow blade, that's good. That's good right there. I know these crossovers are iced up a little, so I'm going to go clean those up and take care of that. Well, after that last short video, I started having a, a mechanical problem with the steam engine. Um, something got bound up and probably worked itself loose, which steam engines do. So I got a diesel out. Um, I had to let it sit for a while, uh, partly because I had some other stuff I had to take care of. But now we've got uh, we've got about mm, maybe two inches of snow on top of the track here. Um, I've coupled the diesel up, and I'm gonna give it a try. So let's see how it goes. 